Hello. I decided to try and uh, build a little battery. Matter of fact, I did build one, and I thought it would make it a little bit different from what I've been seeing out there. This time I decided I was going to try and retain the water rather than uh, dry it all out. Now I'm going to explain to you how I did it here. This is the uh, finished product over here. You can see. And it's running uh, one of the lip motors blocking oscillators with his penny. The only difference between this one and his is I'm using that gadget there, <laughs> a torrid, instead of the uh, Swiss coils like these over here. It, it works just fine. It really, really, really works good. Anyway, when I make these uh, little batteries I'm talking about now, what I'm starting out with here is a fire starter. I ordered these. They're magnesium. I ordered them online on eBay. I think it was about $11 for three of them. And what I've done with this one is I put a little stainless steel bolt through it. They come with a hole through the end and a piece of paper clip. So I have a terminal there. And the next step I do in my process is I use paper tape, which is this product here that I got at the drugstore. It's called paper tape. And I uh, tape the entire outside of this, like I did here. And then I use number 14 wire, copper wire, and I carefully wrapped over the tape just like so. Okay. The next thing I did is I took a container like this little jar, filled it with water, and I put that in there and I let it soak for a few minutes till it was good and wet. Then I laid it on a piece of paper and I took some Epsom salt and I sprinkled on it turning it, sprinkled it on, sprinkled it on, took my finger and worked it in real good and uh, worked it in real good and there goes the phone. Hang on a second. Hello. Ma She's on her way. Alright, alright, bye. Sorry about that. I said to myself the minute I start this, nobody's home but me, and I said the minute I start this, that phone will ring, and it did. Anyway, I told you I soaked it in water, and I sprinkled it with Epsom salts, and I just had to lay it on a piece of white paper, and I took my finger and I rubbed the Epsom salts in best I could until I had it pretty well full, you know, of the Epsom salts. And then I took some substitute salt, this stuff right here, and I sprinkled it over it, turned it, sprinkled a little on it, sprinkled on it. Not a whole lot, but just a sprinkled the coating of it on it. And uh, again, I rubbed it in with my finger, like so. And then back to the paper tape. I covered the whole thing with paper tape. Again, one layer overlapping all the joints to make sure there was nothing showing. And then I went back into the water again. <laughs> So, so that, that layer of paper would be uh, tape, paper tape would be nice and wet. I let it set in there for a couple of minutes, and then, then I put it back on my piece of paper, let it kind of drip off a little bit, and then I took some alm, like that. And I didn't use very much of it, but I just sprinkled a little bit on, turned it, sprinkled a little bit on, turned it, sprinkled a little bit on, and I did the same thing. I rubbed it in. Of course, now this would be all paper now, no wire showing, and I, I rubbed it all in good and uh, wiped it up off the table with my finger and kept rubbing it in. And then, another layer of paper. This stuff here. It's a tape, so it really sticks nice, too. And it absorbs water pretty good. And so I ended up with a thing like this, but it was all paper, and then back into the water again. I let it soak for quite a while until I knew all the paper was good and wet. And I took it out and I let it dry a little bit, then I let it drip dry for a few minutes and moved it around on the paper so there wouldn't be a puddle under it. And then the next thing I did is I used some of this stuff here. This is black electrical tape, plastic tape. And I started on one end and I worked all the way up to the other end. And then down about halfway and then I took a piece and went across the top of it. Right over the top and the piece all the way across the bottom, down the sides put it on, then I taped over the whole thing, taped them down, and then I put a piece of tape on it the other way across the top and the bottom, and then I taped that all down real good. What I was trying to do is cover every bit of it as tightly as I could with tape. The idea was to retain the water. 
you know, it's in it. Never let it get away, hopefully. Anyway, when I got that far, then it looked a lot like this. I took the hot glue gun, because I couldn't seal the ends too well with the tape, and I put a nice even layer of hot glue over the, uh, the ends, and I did that on both ends. And, well, anyway, let me move this. Okay. Anyway, this uh, has been running since the 5th. It's been running this little uh, penny, I call it. <laughs> lit, motor, lit motor penny. And several days now, and it's just a flashing away like crazy and doing a heck of a job. I checked the voltage on it, and, and it's right at about uh, 1 point, a little under 1.4 volts, 1.38, 1.39, somewhere in there. So it's really doing good. I thought that was a pretty interesting little project. So I thought I'd share it with you. The uh, homemade battery. And now I'm hoping, you know, the, the magnesium ribbon has a tendency to rot off uh, shortly. You know, it doesn't last too long. And seeing, seeing how now that I have this big magnesium core in there and uh, no magnesium exposed at all, I'm hoping that will last a very long time. So I'll leave it on this... Uh, Locking oscillator here. We'll see how long it runs. I bet it's going to be months. <laughs> Don't know for sure. Well, anyway, the uh, Schmidt battery is quickly still going pretty good. You can see them there. Still running that little guy. I'm still running tests on them. You guys have been running for about two weeks now since I shorted them out last time. And then this time I did add a little water to them, the tops of them. To dampen them up a little bit. And this one up here is also running away on one battery and it's been running for a couple of weeks. Doing just great. I'll do a video on that one because that's kind of a special one. I made that special. I'll do that later. A little video on it. Yes, and my uh, my little uh, Tyler Slayer here is still working pretty good. I have it hooked up a little differently now. The little heat sink here. There's a magnet holding it on there. Keeps that uh, transistor cool. As you can see, it's lighting up 21 LEDs and L uh, uh, fluorescent light here, and three neons, and a fluorescent bulb underneath here. <laughs> that thing's really working great. Really working great. And uh, if I put this little switch right here, that great little inverter is working great. And my Christmas tree lights are all going. You can see them up there coming off the inverter. The only thing I don't have hooked up is the radio. <laughs> that works pretty neat. I really like that. It's all coming off my little power regulator here, voltage regulator. Okay, I hope you found that a little bit interesting anyway. My little homemade battery. I'm hoping it'll last a long time. I'm gonna make another one right away since I have this one all set to go. And see what it, see what it'll do too. I'll, I'll try and run a, a pulse motor with it instead of running a locking oscillator. I'm sure it won't last nearly as long, but I'll see. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks much for watching.